Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. It was almost a year ago we produced The Vortex episode, Obama's Master Plan, which focused on Obama needing to usurp the church in order to advance his socialist agenda. We've attached a link to the particular episode if you'd like to revisit it or haven't seen it as of yet. As of today, it's been watched almost two million times. The reason? Because people are becoming educated about what's going on behind the scenes. You know, a year later, we thought it'd be a good idea to look back and review the topic, especially in light of Obama's number one item being passed, health care. We said in that vortex that he'd have to marginalize the church in order to advance his goals. What's become more clear, however, is just how easy Obama's job of co-opting large segments of the church would be. It was easy for Obama to ram through his evil plan in Congress with the support of so many Catholics in name only. See, the tip-off should have been when he skated into office in the first place on the backs of so many Catholic voters. So he gets into office because of the Catholic vote. He gets his health care plan passed because of a huge, overwhelming percentage of Catholic congressmen and women who voted for it. The whole initiative was carried forward by Catholic in name only Nancy Pelosi. And at the 11th hour, renegade Catholic groups like Network, Catholics in Alliance for the Common Good, and Catholics United come out in favor of it as did the Catholic Health Association and the Leadership Conference of Women Religious. See, these groups and tens of thousands of their allies inside the church have been greasing the skids for decades now to promote a different kind of Catholicism. And believe me, it is not Catholicism they're promoting. Like the Jews of Jesus' day, they want a political Messiah, not a heavenly king. They've been aided and abetted in their work by clergy and religious who share their views. Many of the bishops, who have remained largely silent in the face of all this politicking and scheming, and a laity that has been given a dumbed-down version of the faith through a network of failed or miserable catechesis since the days of Woodstock. Obama knew he would have to do battle with the Catholic Church to change America into his socialist playground, but even he must have been surprised how many traitors to the faith he would find inside the church. Believe me, people don't like it when you talk this way. They accuse you of being uncharitable, of causing division in the church. A news flash: the division is there and has been there for some time. Obama didn't cause it and neither are we. He is, however, exploiting it. And he had a lot of willing accomplices from those inside the church who actively campaigned for him, from bumper stickers on their cars and parish parking lots, to those who refused to stand up and denounce his evil for fear of appearing uncharitable or giving offense, as those, those are like the mortal sins of the 21st century or something. Talk about what you sow, so shall you reap. The solution to this problem is for faithful Catholics to recommit themselves now, not tomorrow or the next day, but now, to learning the truths of the faith and fighting this evil, beginning with the division in the church. Mobilizing against government's evil designs is fruitless if the church is paralyzed because of the presence of traitors or the ignorant in its ranks. Educate the ignorant and call for the expulsion of the traitors. As long as the church is divided and those in leadership roles do not address the division, expect a continuing slew of Obama's legislative victories, some even done under the guise of being authentically Catholic goals, like health care was. Remember, I'm Michael Boris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber, become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.